Yeah, that's what I thought it was collectors. Right. Big, 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 big box came from uh, Gumtree. Whole load of Hot Wheels cars that I've sorted out. Again, a lot of them have gone into the RKO box because they were mostly ones that I have carded. But these are all the ones that I don't have uncarded or carded. Let's start then. Mitsubishi Perojo. I hope you meant to say it. I think from 2004 Bling series. Very nice indeed. Nice big old wheels. Very minty conditioned. Love it. Cadillac V16. Nice long motor this. Beautiful metallic black. Those classic Cadillac wheels. No other tampos other than slightly on the front with the lights and on the back as well. Very nice. Mustang Match 1. Again, I'm rushing through these because these, this is quite a fair amount. Hot Wheels logo with the red on the side. Silvery chrome top. Very nice front. Same on the other side. Very nice indeed. Again, rushing through these a little bit because I do have quite a fair few. Uh, from 1974, you've got this vehicle, can't remember its name. It's not Combat Medic, it's the uh, other one. Still all pure metal body, plastic base unfortunately, but it is from 1974. Nice red wheels, very nice indeed. Camaro Z28, classic yellow. Bull nose Camaro actually, because it's got the uh, slight tip on the front. Very nice indeed. Z28 on the side there. Very nice indeed. Yet another back draft. I've already had one of these, but this one, once again, missing the surfboard. Common thing, because that surfboard would pop out. So then blue, metal bodied. Very nice car indeed. I'm not sure what happened to that. Probably got final run or just haven't been used in a while. Diora 2. Or Diora in general from the 2004 series, complete with surfboard, which is very rare. These do pop off, not very easily, but they do pop off. I have seen them popped off, but again, nice nonetheless. 2004 model as well, Tomb series, very nice indeed. 40s Woody, beautiful gold with uh, the old spoke wheels, very nice to see that. Bit of pinstriping on the top there, whoops. Bit of pinstriping on the top there, and a tiki head, very nice indeed. One of the vehicles I've been looking for for years or ages was a Dragter. I now officially have a Dragter. Good thing about this is the fact that the top opens up there. And reveals a nice big engine on the inside there, very nice indeed. One of the vehicles I have been after for a while is that, because I do like that. Way too fast. Nice uh, colouring this one. don't know if this is an error, but it's got no glass insert. So it could be an error, could not be, not sure. Nice yellow and black base, little red on the radiator cap there. Very nice indeed. Colour changes, 2008 Lancia Evolution. As you can see, it's supposed to be red, but when exposed to warmness, it turns to green, it turns to yellow. Don't worry, I will be putting that on my window sill to make sure it changes back to its original colour ish. 57 Chevy from 2004 3, uh, other side of the uh, poster. Very nice uh, red, white, and blue patriotic colours. Very nice indeed, this would impress Ray Screws. He's probably already got it, and probably about six or seven of them. On the top of the hood, you've got the nice uh, stars and stripes there. On the boot, got a nice little logo. Very nice indeed. So many to go through. Uh, next up we have the Plymouth Barracuda DCC. I think that's how you say it. This one's obviously had a slightly all problem uh, I think the uh, actual interior is sort of like a bit crooked I don't know if it's supposed to be like that but again if you push that up because that bit there is a bit low but again nice blue Plymouth Barracuda 
think for a 2004, not 100% but nice nonetheless. Hypermite, very nice little colouring, popular little model this because of the engine, the pipes, the spoiler that's curved at the top there. Silvery with a very nice blue underside, very cool indeed. The Hyperliner, one of the pop-off series, and it means pop-off series because the actual whole entire thing pops off with a nice interior. Mini Cooper S and the new VW Beetle, uh, the recently remade one, that one uh, had a pop-off shell as well, but now the non-tuned or non-blinged version of Hyperliner does as well. Very nice indeed. Very cool colourings. Mustang Cobra, slightly worn out this one. Got nice Hot Wheels logo on the side there, Hot Wheels logo on the top, number 29. Don't know what colour the wheels are supposed to be, probably chrome, but chrome has worn away. Still nice though. Pile Driver, very nice uh, version of this. Camouflage type colours, one that I haven't got to my collection. One I can now officially add to my collection. Very nice indeed. Sweet 16 2, I think. This is called Sweet 16 2. Very nice pinky purpley colour. A nice little logo on the side there as well. I think the logo says uh, Spectra Flame II. Got some pinstriping on the top as well. Overall, very nice looking model. Six nine Pontiac GTO Judge, the extremely blown engine. Nice uh, black tampos, or black with sort of like some crazy tampos there. Very cool indeed. Very nice indeed. Seventies Roadrunner with the seventies Wastelanders logo on the side. Beautiful metal flake yellow. Nice hood logo there as well. Or hood tampo which uh, just has the uh, ten seventies Wastelanders. Very nice logo indeed. Wish I had a better webcam, but oh well. Oh. Uh, Honda Civic SI, one for the uh, South, one for the DC TV uh, guys out there. They like their Japanese cars. Actually, thought this was a uh, rally car, Mitsubishi or sort of like uh, Subaru, but it's not. Very nice Honda. Very nice indeed. <coughs> Fifty-six Ford. Beautiful uh, metallic black with red underside. This is the one that does have the opening hood. Very nice indeed. On the top there, got some nice pin striping. Very, very cool, crazy design, that one. GMC Motorhome. The Hot Wheels logo on the side. Very nice indeed. Do like me GMC Motorhomes. Nice big black car on the inside you can't really see but again very nice indeed another La Trucker oh, another one to my collection the third one has got Mike's uh, rods and customs very nice uh, tampos on the side there this is obviously a customised vehicle nice hood tampo deco there still love the get out of my way face on the front of these things very cool indeed. Final run of the um, hot seat, 2004 final run. 2004 had a whole series of final runs. I think I have them all. Because it had the Ferrari, this one, the uh, Trucker, and Catapult. I think there was five. I can't remember what the other one was. I know there was another one. Maybe I'll find it in a moment because I've got a couple of final runs. This is, of course, the uh, final flush. It does say final flush on the side there. Very cool indeed. 
Shame that this model has come to an end, but it's always a fun model, that one. 2001 Mini Cooper. Very nice model, this one. Beautiful metallic black with white hood. Basic, but nice. This one's actually worth quite a fair amount, because um, on South Texas, apparently the front end there uh, has different uh, details. This is the more collectible one. Another custom 77 Dodge van. Treasure Hunt! Look! It's got a Circle Flame logo. It's a treasure hunt. Oh wait, no it's not. <laughs> well, if it was the black one with uh, the graffiti on it, then yes. But this one sadly isn't. Nice tampos, nice overall colour. Very nice indeed. Another 69 Pontiac GTO Judge, first edition. It's the one with the judge on the side. Very nice indeed. Love the big, huge, blown engine on this thing. That'd be good for a custom. All pure metal body, this one. Very nice indeed. Midnight Auto. With the uh, cool sort of plane for the 1940s, 30s, 20s, 10s sort of tampo deco designs on it. Also the hood has some nice colouring on it as well. And even on the back end, there's some cool colouring on it. Has the Eagle Sunagon 2. Very nice indeed. That's of course the version with the uh, cage bar on the front of it. 69 Dodge Charger with opening hood. Just. Just about opens up. This is from 2004. I know this is from 2004. Oh, a little close. 2004, I think, first edition. First time I ever produced this model. Very nice colouring indeed. Nice little uh, power sander. In very cool colours. Metal body, metal base. Unpopular little car thickness, but I like it because it's a nice sort of overall model. Very cool. Brutalistic. It has the Track Aces logo on it because it is a track star. And I think uh, it doesn't have the logo on it. It is a nice good track car. Beautiful white with green uh, glass. Very nice indeed. Bling's 2005 Dairy Delivery. This is another unpopular model. Mainly because it was sort of like a Bling's version. But again, Dairy Delivery uh, people collected them. Not exactly that popular. Beautiful Tampo artwork design on the top there with the clown. Very crazy. I don't know if the wheel was bent. Yeah, should have to fix that later. Uh, yeah. Ubertanium 1 in sort of like a charcoal y sort of coal grey with some grey on the side. Nice big Cadillac wheels. Plastic body, metal base. In 2007, apparently, because it's uh, got the Hot Wheels emblem but no lettering, which is wonderful. Stingray 3, with the uh, Racing 10 Hot Wheels thingy on it. Nice little popular model of this. Not seen it for a while. Final run, or just not very popular anymore. Very nice indeed. I like that sort of model. 2004 Lotus Esprit from the Bling series. Very nice little model. Simple 38 design. Very cool indeed. Ooh. Rocket Fire. This is uh, a very cool colourry car, this one. It's got a nice orangey flame wheels. Nice face at the front as well. And of course, the massive, huge rocket type propelled thing to make it go meow! 7,000 miles an hour. Very cool indeed. 69 Camaro Z28 in green. Maybe some nice uh, tampos on the side. Very cool indeed. 
do like uh, greeny cars. Nice blown engine as well. Very nice indeed. And we have run out of space on here, so we have to be careful now. The Big Chill Snowmobile Final Run 2005 version. Again, a lot of final runs came in 2005-2004. This is 2005 Final Run of the Snowmobile. A shame. Such a nice uh, vehicle, but obviously too hard to colour. Because, again, the only metal bit is uh, that bit there. The side tracks are metal, but again, nobody notices them. Still a nice model, nonetheless. I'll pin them up round here now, in out of space. <sighs> F uh, Racer, another one. Beautiful metallic black, chalkboard black with some shiny silvery stuff on the side. Hot Wheels logo, that's about it on that one. Vandetta, 2007 model, second colouring. I've got the other colouring of this car, dude. I haven't got this version though. Supposed to be a very good track car because it has got the track logo underneath on top there. But for those exposed back wheels, probably after a while, it wouldn't be such a good track car. Ah, 67 Camaro Treasure Hunt Super or Treasure Hunt 10 year anniversary when they were first made. Very nice uh, collectible one. This not very good for a. Uh, playing with because the uh, wheels are actually they rub too much on the body still very nice though and yes the bonnet does open up beautifully very nice indeed very nice super or treasure hunt in general invader colour changer As, uh, you can see it's sort of gone back to its original colour has the original firing thingy as well very rare this because I think Hot Wheels removed it after the uh, projectiles could harm kids because it would be like a case of, well, how do you fire that? Ah, me eye, me eye. It's like a case of that was got rid of. But it also does change colour because if I rub the front end here, as you can see, it changes colour a little bit. Goes from a navy colour to a sort of lighter navy colour. Still nice though. Let's go with this one here. 97 Corvetti. The beautiful red with some nice silvery flames on the side. Like I said, this is a big box. Nothing on the top, but a nice sort of car anyways. From the five pack we have the uh I think baby boomer is it? Yeah. Yeah, baby boomer. Beautiful uh custom rod thing. This is from five pack, I know that much. But uh, that's about it. Very nice uh, model. The only one I've got, and the only one I've ever seen, is that it came out in 1999, so probably 2000. Probably wasn't a very popular model, or just wasn't used a lot. Be nice to see that again as a uh, possible boulevard. Oh no, they've ended that. Mm, that's a shame. Uh, uh, Toe Jam, a very rare vehicle nowadays. Not seen this one for a while. Beautiful blue with white flames. More on the top there. Comes with the actual uh, toe thingy at the back. Very rare to have that. That usually gets broken off or lost. Another Invader. This one with uh, the flame in the star logo. Not quite treasure hunt, but almost. Again, also comes with the fire, which is very rare indeed. But again, nice grey colours. Very uh, popular model, this, with sort of like the tank owners and stuff. I like them as well. So, Fast from 2003-04 time. This is one with the opening uh, little hood bit. This bit here actually does come off, so it would be very easy to lose. I know that a lot of these did have casting defects on the little bit of plastic that held them on. So if it did come off back in the day, that was the reason. Nice little simple tattoo design on the side there, and then on the back, it's got the same logo as you always have. Very nice indeed. Aha, 2004 uh, MG Rover Treasure Hunt, second one that I've had. 
Very nice treasure hunt indeed, this one. Lovely to find treasure hunts. I don't usually find them. I didn't even expect them to be treasure hunts in there. But again, thanks very much to the person that I paid money for for this. A Matchbox Volkswagen bug or 62 bug. He said that uh, he said that he would only include the Hot Wheels stuff. Well, he also included a couple of Matchbox as well, but nice one anyway. Obviously, thought this was a Hot Wheels. Very nice indeed. The only main problem I am uh, annoyed with is the fact that he didn't put the Oscar uh, Oscar Myers Wienermobile. I saw that in the pick, and that's the reason why I wanted it, but. Sadly, didn't include it, but again, that sort of thing happens. Sure, I can find it somewhere else. Vulture from the uh, track races, or track aces rather. Nice uh, track car, this indeed. Again, exposed back wheels though, so not a popular one after a while. Don't know what's happened to this model actually. Not seen it for a while. Hmm. I've forgotten the name of this one. I don't know the actual name of it, but it is nice. It's uh, another red, white, and blue sort of colour. Very nice design indeed. Basic sort of uh, tampos and colours. Very nice indeed. This plastic bit does come off, but I've forgotten how. I know it does come off because I have seen them. Uh, I've seen the one. I've seen them with those bits off. Have a nice little WD-40 here, the uh, bike, minus the stand, but that's common nowadays. I think this is uh, a later version, could be a second colouring of the 2007 new model, which I do actually have, carded. Hemi Cuda, very nice colours on this one indeed, metal flake brown, orange, black tampos, very nice popular fan model that one. Two thousand and four Mustang GT. I know this one because it did come out in two thousand and four, part of the uh, normal new series or Tomb series. I'm not sure which series it was in. I think it was new editions, two thousand and four new editions. And again, two thousand and four dark day for Hot Wheels. We have the W Uzi, which is the uh, of course cruise bike, where the whole entire back end folds down. Very nice design indeed. Very nice indeed. Basic. It's a popular model, that one, actually, I do have to admit, because I have seen it in other collections. Jaded from 2003-04, I think. Very mostly 07. Mixture of sort of cars here. Very nice version, because it's got two uh, chihuahuas on the top there. And I know they're chihuahuas, because I've seen them. It's a very nice Ferrari 250 LM. This is the first ever 250 Ferrari LM I've had. So, very minty indeed. Nice 21 on the front. I think we're actually down to the final layer. It's, it's quite a fair few. Considering the fact there was about four plus layers, I think about four or three layers of Hot Wheels cars. We have the Barjar Bug in charcoal -y grey. 77 on the side. This one also comes in uh, the blue version, which I think I have, or don't have, I don't remember. Very nice indeed though, that one. Dairy delivery, slightly bad condition on the uh, Hando, the four-armed wonder clown. Very nice tampos on the side, love the blue and green. Of course on the top you have Mr. Hando himself. Very nice model indeed. Very, 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 very good model indeed, that one. Datsun 240Z. A very nice model indeed. Very popular colours. Very nice indeed. Uh, this one, another Camaro. Or Chevy Stocker, rather. Very nice model indeed. Very nice indeed, light blue. Again, it's got the uh, later version of it. 
got the exhaust pipe and the bit of rope rather than the four grenades and the fish hook. Very nice indeed. Got a cool little uh, Caparil 2D, another red, white, and blue sort of coloured. More silver, I'd say, but still very nicely done. I do like it. The Mitsubishi Eclipse, this is a uh, very cool model because it's got a sort of half blown engine. Very nice red and black, slight exhaust pipe on the back explosion, very nice indeed. Yet another custom 69 Chevy, I've already got two of these. This is the purple version, very nice indeed. That's all it's got on it. Again, I've got a red version and the uh, red line version. Nitro Door Slammer. Very popular track car, this. Some cool tampos on the side. Just uh, Nitro Door Slammer and some various logos on the side. Beautiful gold with red wheels. Super tuned. Very nice sort of truck low bed, black with green tampos, just uh, sort of almost sort of like a Ben 10 prototype this one, or possibly a scale sort of type thing. Very nice nonetheless. 2004 or 3 uh, T-Bird, very nice with the porthole, very nice model indeed, red, white and blue. Oh, in fact, it's all white and has a few bits of red, white, and blue in it. From the same one as that 57 Chevy earlier on. I think it's from 2004. This one's from 2004. It's the 49 Merc with the sort of roaring front ends. These are actually quite good because they were actually not that bad. Nice big front end. Very interesting model. Sadly, some of them didn't even last. A couple of them got Zymacked, but that was it. Another final run of 2005 is the very nice uh, cat track thingy or snow plow thingy. This usually has the thingy. Uh, this usually has the logo on it, but it doesn't. Which is rather a shame. Usually it has sort of like the logo on it, but it doesn't. And it's definitely a final run though, because there it is. Final run, 2005. Or, uh, 2005. Shame really is this is a nice model but again like the other one that snow track not exactly a very popular uh, thing. Custom 62 Chevy this is the one with the uh, removable surfboard in the back so to remove it you just simply pull and off it comes nice design push back in you just simply do that and there we go basic and simple Nice little tampo as well. Very cool little model. No, I'm really running out of room here. CCM Country Club Muscle with the Lamborghini wheels. Nice plastic top. Beautiful, beautiful tampos. Nice car indeed. 2004 Chevy S10 in the Bling series. This is the one with all the money on the side. We're in the money, we're in the money. But in 2004, Hot Wheels were out of the money because of all the horrible, horrible cars they made. Again, the artwork was beautiful, but the actual cars ugh, didn't exactly look well or didn't work very well. Power panel, big, huge, meaty vehicle, this one. Wonderful design on it, very basic, but nice. 32 Ford Vicky. This one I already have, but this is a wheel variation. This has the uh, buzz saws. The other one I have, I think, has the uh, star wheels on it. Very nice uh, tampo design. Very nice indeed. Phantom This. I'm not entirely sure uh, what year this one is, but I think it's from 2004. A five pack. It's got the uh, WT on it, so could be. Very nice nonetheless, strange and interesting. Big Pig Dogs, the Combat Medic, 
I actually have two of these, one for trade, this one uh, in much better condition. Very nice indeed. With the opening doors, very nice indeed. I have to use my keyboard now. Surfing school bus. Very cool tampos, this one. This is a very popular one indeed, tampo wise. Look at the top. Absolutely gorgeous. Sides as well, very nice. Shame that that one, uh, I think, has been replaced by the other new uh, school bus. Because I wouldn't mind seeing that. Be final run. Let it be final run then. If you're going to replace it, let it final run. Cockney Cab 2. 2008 or 9 new model, I remember. Very nice indeed, this one. Based on the London FX4 taxi, but with a big, huge, massive engine in the back, obviously. Certainly wouldn't get you around London any quicker with the amount of congestion. Overboard 454. Very nice black with a slight green line on the side there. Basic and simple. How I like it. Cadillac V16. Another one of the sort of like big front end jobs. Small back end. Very cool model this one. Basic silver. And that's it. Not much to say really other than that. 2003 or 4. I think 2003. 1941 Ford pickup with extremely blown engine. Nice basic uh, white colour or yellow and black. Got a nice logo on the top there as well. Not exactly a popular model, but very nice nonetheless. Screaming hauler. Very nice uh, logo on the corner there. Little flame, little uh, skull. Beautiful metallic uh, metal grey with some striping on the side there. Very heavy model. Not seen that one for a while as well. Crazy 8. Beautiful purple tampo or beautiful purple body shell. Metal body, metal top, plastic engine bay. If they ever did that in metal, this thing would weigh a ton. Again, very nice design. Uh, it's got, of course, track aces on the top there. Because again, it is a perfect track car. Old number 5.5. Got the yellow version of this. This is the uh, other version in red. Very Looks more realistic. This is the sort of uh, realistic type model you'd have. A bit of extra, a bit is some flameage. Love the hat in the back end there. Beautiful old. Probably uh, metal or possibly plastic hat. Depends. 2004 way to go this is almost like a uh, fat boys job which is very strange indeed but it's actually 2004 very interesting model indeed I think it's 2004 anyway yeah 2003 underneath takes me a year to copyright it I have to start putting them back in here now unfortunately a nice um, 59 Chevy yep 59 sheaf the, of course the big huge front end again this one has a much better get out of my way face look at that we want that coming towards you it's like oh, that looks like an okay truck oh my god it's so big very nice indeed 66 nova beautiful colors lovely blue with some white tampos on the top again i have run out of room on my keyboard oh dear 2004 uh, 64 Impala. Very nice car indeed. Very basic, but nice. Final run of the Ferrari. It has come up with the uh, final run 04 on it. Very hard to see that, but you can just in the corner there it says final run 04. Very nice basic design. Metal body, metal base. Nice to see that one has been final run. It is sort of like a fan favourite. Osenberg, 2004 Crew Series. Very classic sort of 20s, 30s looking car. But again, ruined by the fact that it has the back end there. So if they just, it sort of looks like the Bugatti uh, 337 that Hot Wheels made a few decades ago. 69 Mustang. 
I think this is from 2007, the second colouring. Mine's in pearl white. This is black with a nice red stripe down the side. 2004 bling again, brick cutter. <coughs> and this you probably could cut bricks with. Nice, beautiful design. Very interesting model. Now the matchbox, we have a very cool uh, 56 Ford pickup. Very nice basic design. Very nice sort of front logo on the back, of course, on the tailgate. Classic Ford. Very nice. Another pocket uh, bikester, this time in blue. Very nice blue colours. Some basic black stripes on the top there. A Dodge Charger SRT8. Very nice yellow. Very nice indeed. Just got the slight Dodge logo on the back end there. Very nice tyres as well. Yet another uh, Fandango. This one with the uh, Space Channel 5. Very nice Japanese sort of anime thing on the side. And there it is, Space Channel 5. And the final one in the box is the Corvette Grand Sport. And there goes my box, falling over a little bit. Again, here is the Corvette Grand Sport. Very nice colouring indeed. Basic, but very nice. And that is it. That is officially it. That is every single car I've gone through. Not entirely sure how many, but uh, I can certainly tell you it has filled a lot of up. Um, because I no longer have my cassette racks here. They're all over here, as you can see. All these here. They were originally just here, but they've now been moved. So I can't store my cars over there. So it's going to be very awkward when the car boot sales start up again. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't know what's coming next, but enjoy.